Hey guys, welcome back to Greg's Fish Room. Today, I wanted to share with you a list of tools that I use in my fish room on a weekly basis. And they all have one thing in common. They all suck. In that, they all help me siphon mulm and debris out of my aquariums and they help deliver live foods in a controlled manner back into my aquariums. So if you have your own tanks and your own fish room, you know it's really important to have the right tool for the job because it makes life a lot easier. And these tools range in volume from one milliliter all the way up to half a liter at a time. It's a great list of tools. I'm sure you've seen one or two. I wanna share the whole list with you. So come along with me and learn how to be a better aquarist. All right, guys, the first tool on this list is the smallest, and this is the disposable pipette. Now, I'm sure most people are aware of this product, and hopefully a lot of people already use these uh, in your fish rooms. They are super affordable to use, they can be reused in a fish room, uh, however, they are designed to be disposable. Um, so if you're uh, afraid of cross-contamination or things like that, you can use it once, toss it out and use a new one the next day or on your next tank. I would say disposable pipettes are best used for two different things. The first would be dosing a specific amount of medication into a tank. You can see um, there's gradations on the side of the disposable pipette and so you can dose something like one milliliter of a certain medication into a tank with something like this and then you can dispose of it because you don't want to cross contaminate that medication uh, with anything else. So in that respect this is a really useful tool, a really affordable tool. I see a lot of people using these with uh, their small live foods as well. So if you have a live food like vinegar eels or maybe micro worms or brine shrimp, this can be an excellent tool to deliver those to your very small fish in your very small uh, fry tanks as well. So disposable pipette. All right, next thing on the list. This is a, uh, this is very similar to a turkey baster. However, it's much, much smaller. Uh, this is essentially like a baby medicine dropper. And again, um, there's gradations on the side so you can see how much uh, you have. This goes up to five milliliters, so it's, it's probably about twice uh, as much as a, a disposable pipette can handle uh, realistically. And these are really, really excellent for repeated use. And so if you have just a few of these in your fish room, uh, it could go a very long way and last for many, many years uh, in your fish room. And these, I think, work best, again, for dispensing uh, a specific amount of medication um, and also for uh, feeding your very small live foods into your very small fry tanks. Now, one good feature about these is they have the silicone um, uh, bulb here, which can be removed and cleaned and then uh, the plastic portion of this also can be removed and cleaned. So as long as it's not a, a really caustic medication, um, this is something that could go through the dishwasher if you need it to, uh, or you can hand clean it uh, with soap and water as well before using it again. So this is a, an excellent tool, and this is one that I use for feeding brine shrimp uh, to my very small fry tanks. And, um, you know, it's, it's not great for large tanks. Uh, it's not great for big community tanks or big breeding tanks because it does have a small volume here. But if you have just a few very small fish, um, this can be a very excellent tool. All right, next one up. This is everyone's favorite, the good old turkey baster. Now, I think I got this like 10 years ago. Uh, my wife picked up probably about a dozen of these at the dollar store at one point. And um, this one, I just par particularly love the shape and size uh, of this. It's, it's got a good sort of uh, bulb volume here, which is really easy to use. And um, these essentially come in two different types. There's the normal turkey baster, which is what you see here. And then there's also um, a no drip turkey baster, which has a silicone tip 
and it makes a funny noise uh, when you squeeze it. The no drip uh, turkey basters can be good for feeding tanks, especially if you're going from tank to tank to tank and you don't want to drip stuff all over the floor. That can be a very good option. However, I find that the all-purpose turkey baster like this one is the better option for me because I'm using it for lots of different things. I use this to spot clean the bottoms of my aquariums, uh, especially smaller aquariums when I see a lot of debris built up in one area. This can be a very easy tool to just go in and snipe a little area within a tank and pick up a lot of mulm and debris off the tank. This is also my uh, uh, weapon of choice when it goes uh, for feeding large volumes of things like baby brine shrimp to my very large aquariums. And so if I have a big 50 gallon community tank and I want to feed an entire turkey baster volume of uh, freshly hatched baby brine shrimp to that tank, this thing handles up to like 25 milliliters at a time. Whereas the previous one that we looked at only handles five milliliters at a time. So this can handle much larger tanks, much larger volumes of debris, um, and again, very easy to operate. This is a staple uh, in every fish room, I think, uh, across America. So if you don't have one of these, definitely go out and get one. All right, switching gears a little bit. This is a syringe, and um, these can be very, very useful tools in your fish room uh, with a little bit of modification. And so what you can see here is it's a normal plastic syringe, but then what I've done here is I've attached a piece of rigid airline tubing with a piece of airline tubing to extend um, the, the nozzle length uh, on this syringe. That allows me to get much deeper into uh, things like live cultures um, and, and sort of target the area that I'm about to siphon or suck out to make sure that I'm capturing uh, the live foods that I'm after. And, and that's specifically what this is designed for. Um, so this is the perfect size for uh, things like a vinegar eel culture where you want to get into the neck of the bottle and, uh, and, and be very targeted with where you're trying to siphon things out. And uh, this is about the same volume here uh, as a turkey baster. Uh, it's just a little bit different form factor. And one of the good things about this is that it is also a no drip solution. Um, uh, syringes are designed to sort of have that suction uh, force so that once you pull that back, uh, it's holding all of that liquid uh, in, in the, the, the syringe itself and you won't make a mess uh, distributing that on the floor before you get it to where you're trying to go. So this can be a very useful tool. Again, this is a normal size syringe with a DIY attachment here. All right, syringes, <laughs> they get quite a bit bigger uh, if you're willing to go find them and buy them. Uh, this one is much, much larger. This is a 550 milliliter syringe. This is gigantic and um, there's not a whole lot of reasons to have one this size. Uh, I have it because I wanted one this size and I have used it before and typically uh, the, the best way to use something like this is if I'm harvesting a, a very large quantity of let's say baby brine shrimp and I want to distribute that to 10 or 12 tanks uh, all at the same time. I can harvest all of that baby brine shrimp material in one um, sort of uh, uh, suction siphon movement and capture all of it um, within this gigantic syringe. And then I can go to every single tank and I can just distribute uh, as much as I want. So if I have a large tank, you know, maybe I distribute 100 milliliters. If I have a smaller tank that I'm going to, uh, maybe I only distribute 50 milliliters. And if the brine shrimp are sort of moving out of suspension, you can always shake it up a little bit uh, in between tanks that you're feeding. So something like this can be very helpful if you have a lot of tanks to tend to. Uh, however, I will say 
that the larger these things get, the harder they get to use in that the amount of uh, force required to pull this uh, plunger back is quite substantial. It's not quite as hard to push it back and, and uh, sort of deliver the, the liquid to your aquariums. However, it's not something that you're going to want to sort of uh, pull on and then push on um, lots of times repetitively. It's just not going to be comfortable. Uh, it's gonna get pretty tiring pretty quickly. But if you're just using it once a day, uh, or if you're able to um, you know, tackle a dozen tanks at a time, uh, it can make your life quite a bit easier than the repetitive motions of using smaller devices. All right, next product. This is one that I am super thrilled to have purchased. This is a 200 milliliter automotive um, fluid siphon or suction tube. And this is essentially used in the automotive industry to remove things like um, windshield wiper fluid or potentially uh, like used motor oil or things like that from inside a vehicle. And so it comes with these extension tubes already and um, it's really easy to sort of pull on this, pull back on this and draw up to 200 milliliters all at once. Uh, very, very easily. In fact, um, these work quite a bit better than your typical syringe because they have, um, if you can see right there, it's sort of a, a pressure relief uh, point which allows the air to escape out the back. So whereas a syringe, uh, you pull that back and, and it creates sort of a uh, a, a suction and it, it holds all of that liquid in place. Um, this has a way for the air to escape and so it makes it a lot easier to pull it back and push it forward, pull it back and push forward. Very, very easy to do that. And so this is something you can use uh, very frequently to pull 200 milliliters at a time out of your tank. The only downside um, is that because it has that pressure relief, the water will seep back out of the end of the nozzle uh, if you're pointing this thing downward. So essentially what you would have to do is you siphon your material out and then you'd have to point it upwards so that it doesn't continually drip on you. Um, but that's a small price to pay for how much easier this is to repetitively use. And this is a product that I use very, very heavily in my fish room. In fact, multiple times per day for siphoning mulm out of the bottom of my aquariums. This is really, really great for uh, targeted cleaning of your fry tanks. If you have small tanks with small fish in them and you need to be very, very sensitive about not sucking up the small fish, but being able to target the debris and siphon that out on a daily basis or maybe multiple time per day basis, this is by far the tool to use. Um, I find I have much, much better control with something like this than I do with a turkey baster. And the reason is because with a turkey baster, you're either you know uh, pushing or, or releasing. And so um, you're just gonna get everything uh, within the path of that turkey baster in, in one pull. But with this, you have very, very targeted control of if you're, if you're sucking things up and how fast you're sucking things up. So if you're sort of just going along very slowly and siphoning things out, that's great. If you see a small fry coming near you, you can slow down or stop completely. Uh, if you see one starting to get sucked up, into the tubing, you can stop and reverse motion and push them back out um, so that they don't get harmed or, or sucked up uh, completely into this thing. So 200 milliliter uh, automotive uh, siphon, uh, fluid siphon, really, really great tool. The only thing that I would caution on is that this um, has a plunger which does have a little bit of um, uh, lubricant on the, the head of this plunger. And so when you get this, uh, if you're worried about that contaminating your tanks or harming your small fish, 
it might be a good idea to take it apart, wash it down, um, and then put it back together so that you have less of that to, to worry about uh, in your tank. Again, none of these things were designed for aquariums, but um, it's very easy to make them safe and compatible with your tanks. All right. And then the last thing on the list is the granddaddy of them all. It's so big it won't fit on the screen here all at once. This is a product called the Underhill Gulp Premium Water Removal Syringe. This is uh, 24 inches long um, and it has uh, about, I would say, a half a liter of capacity to suck up water. And again, this is much like the one we just saw where it has the, the pressure relief holes uh, up here as well. So it's much, much easier to pull, push and pull on this a lot. Um, very easy to pull material up, but again, just like with the last one, uh, the liquid will leak back out the tip uh, if you don't hold it upright. So once you have your material sucked up, you're gonna wanna hold it upright, uh, bring it over to your wastewater bucket, and then you can spit it out. This is a fantastic tool. If you have an aquarium that is on the ground or very close to the ground, um, or you have a sump tank that is very hard to access and also very close to the ground, this is the tool that you need. If you don't have one of these, you need to go get one. Um, this was designed, I believe, for like RVs and boats um, that are being winterized, right? Like you wanna be able to take all the water out of a, a toilet in an RV, uh, or for plumbers who are doing uh, like a new toilet install and you wanna suck all the, the water out of the old toilet before you replace the toilet so you don't get water all over the floor. Um, anytime you have water that's next to the floor and it's impossible to start a siphon with a hose, this is the tool to use because you can get a lot of water uh, in this siphon all at once. And so I use this on a daily basis on all of my aquariums that are on the lowest rack of my fish room. I also use this uh, to clean the waste and mulm out of my sump tanks uh, and my wastewater tanks uh, and also my turtle stock tank and all of the IBC totes uh, and ponds and everything outdoors. <laughs> so this thing gets quite a bit of use. Uh, it's very easy to use. You can actually fill up a five gallon bucket uh, full of water that you pull through something like this fairly rapidly and so you can get a lot of material, a lot of debris off the bottom of a tank uh, very, very quickly. Now this tube is uh, detachable and so you can uh, just take it off completely if, uh, if you want to or you can cut it down to uh, whatever length that you, you want it but uh, it's, it's very adjustable, um, it's shatter proof, you can pull the thing apart, you can clean it, you can put it back together, super easy to use. Uh, highly, highly recommended if you're dealing with tanks near the floor. So that's the last item and the largest item on this list. All right, guys, so there you have it. The seven tools that I use on a weekly basis to siphon water out of my aquariums. I hope you learned something. If you did, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing. And if you're looking to buy any of the things on this list, those links are in the description down below. Again, those are affiliate links, so if you click on those and buy them, I do make a few cents, and uh, that does go a long way towards helping to support future videos like this. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.